Hey guys and welcome back to Doctor Who. I hope you're having a wonderful day today and if not, hopefully it's about to get better with this next episode. Susie says hello, do you sweetheart? Oh, it's breaking up. Not sure what uh, that is just yet. Whoa! Red planet. Is that the same suit? Oh, these people are on the red planet too. This is Governor. Oh! looks good that's not funny that's pollution is that guy australian oh i wonder if the doctor will see that little oh, sign no yeah. trespasses sorry <gasps> you are under arrest for trespassing gadget gadget oh at least it's not a dalek or a cyberman that little thing just looked like a webcam on wheels whoa that looks so nice. State your name, rank, and intention. The doctor. <laughs> doctor. Fun. <laughs> intention is fun. <laughs> Put it down. Why should I trust you? Because I give you my word. Keep Gadget covering him. Oh, right. So you control that thing. It's a bit flimsy. Gadget, Gadget. Does it have to keep saying that? I think it's funny. I hate funny robots. Excuse me, boss. <laughs> Computer lock says we've got an extra person on site. Disconnected. She's cut me off. Can you believe her? It's like we're just gardeners. Oh, they they are gardeners. Look at that. It's amazing. You beauty. Oh, Look amazing. The very first garden off Earth. I bet. That's amazing. All those stories about them building a rocket. Adelaide's oh no! Something's happening to that Mind guy you, after he ate the carrot. <laughs> oh, he's. Dead. Are you alright, mate? Oh no, I'm expecting Come horrors. Don't show his face. Andy. You okay? <laughs> so, I'm the doctor, and you are? Everyone on planet Earth knows who we are. This is Bowie, Bowie Base, Base One. One. Founded July 1st, 2058. Established Bowie Base One in the Gusev Crater. Oh. He knows about this. He seems scared. It's 2059, right now. My head is so stupid, you're Captain Adelaide Brooke. Died 2059. Died this year, 2059. Everyone died. Nurse Yuri Kerensky. Senior technician Steffi Ehrlich. So he knows that everyone's dead. Geologist Mia Bennett. Can he save them or should he not? You're only 27 years old. What's the date today? November 21st, 2059. <gasps> it's Hi. the day! What's so important about my age? I should go. I'm, I'm sorry with all of my heart. It's one of those very rare times when I've got no choice. Why did he come here on this day? Very great honor to meet you all. He has to be here for a reason. Margaret Kane and Andrew Stone. The gardeners. If you want to meet the only new human being that you're going to see in the next five years. It's too late. They're both gone. I really should go. Yes, this you should. Or stay here and help them. Internal cameras are down. I'm going over. Doctor, with me. I'm leaving right now. Take a spacesuit, lock it up. You're not going anywhere, except with me. I would love to see him fix this and stop everyone from dying, but then, like he said, it's one of those instances where he doesn't really have a choice. I don't know what he can do. I hate robots, did I say? <laughs> yeah, and he's not too fond of you. It's not the robots, it's the people. Dressing them up and giving them silly voices. Friend of mine, she made her domestic robot look like a dog. <laughs> That's different. A canine. One thing they never said, was it worth it? Mission. They say you sacrificed everything. Left her family behind. Okay. We almost reached extinction. And to fly above that, to stand on a world with no smoke. Yes, it's worth it. Ah, a woman with starlight in her soul. Starlight. We've heard that before. Was that from the Titanic episode, Starlight? Peggy? She's still breathing. Bash back on its way. Get her the sick bay. Put her in isolation. Andy is the only other crew member out here. And if that wasn't an accident, then he's gone wild. 
You've deserted your post. Consider that an official warning. Now get back to work. Okay. <laughs> she runs a tight ship, doesn't she? That sound we heard from the biodome, according to the computer, it's, it's Andy. Understood. The doctor knows everything that's about to happen. He just knows. First flower on Mars in 10,000 years. <gasps> you got birds. Good sign. Yeah, the canary in the coal mines, right? She's awake. She's back with us. I was just working. Then I woke, woke up here. What about Andy? I don't know. I... If you remember anything, let me know straight away. Just let me out of here. I'm fine. 24 hours. Oh, no. Oh, no. OK, so she's dodgy, too. Oh no, this is happening again. I can't deal with it. It's too scary. Ew. Andy. Oh, that is so weird. Andrew. No. No, I can't look. Are you okay? Yeah. No, she is not okay. It's his husband. He spends money like an idiot. George says fine. Okay. His birthday comes around, turns out George has bought him. No, 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 no. It's the thought that counts. Where does he live? By the sea. Earth oh. is so much water. I can hear yeah. the water. We should like that world. <gasps> this is sick, babe. We have a situation. It's water just pouring out. That's awful. That's awful. Tarek, this area is unsafe. We're going back. Tarek? Nope, he's gone too. Oh, this is just awful. Oh. It's like an alien, evil alien germ or parasite has taken over these people's bodies. I don't like this. That's better. Hmm? You must be Andy. We've got to go. Oh. Hurry up! So, does it transmit via water? She can probably just break through that glass. Oh, that is so hideous. It's not Maggie. What is she? Just tell me that Maggie is contained. Can you confirm it? She's locked in. Yeah, but for how long? It's only a flimsy layer of glass. Don't drink the water. Don't even touch it. Not one drop. Human beings are 60% water, which makes them the perfect host. This thing's airtight, yeah? And therefore watertight. Depends how clever the water is. Very clever. Oh, the ship! Could he not grab everyone that's left and that is healthy and just leave on the TARDIS? Or he just cannot save anyone? Doctor, we haven't got time. They can run faster than us. We need a lift. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. It's gonna zoom. Oh, that is very cool. There's no way they can get in. Come on, come on. Come on, hurry up. Oh, he's saving Gadget, Gadget. <laughs> that's adorable. That's hermetically sealed. They can't get in. Water is patient, Adelaide. Water just waits. Water always wins. Come on. You can do with bikes in this place. <laughs> Every pound in weight equals three tons of fuel. B bikes? <laughs> yes. Or even a skateboard or something. Is that dog hiding us here? No, just basic. Do you know who I am? Your commanding officer, Captain Adelaide Brook. Urgual and Shocht and What? What language is that? Ancient North Martian. It's like she recognized it. Where'd you get your water from? The ice field. It's screened. It's safe. Something was frozen down there. A viral life form in the ice for all those years. This thing, whatever it is, doesn't just hide in water. It creates water. Tell me what you want. Water. She wanted Earth, mm -hmm. a world full of water. Yep, they want to live somewhere that has a lot of water, so they want to go back to Earth. But it's an unknown infection and it's spreading. That demands action procedure one. Action one, that means evacuation, yeah? We're going home. But this doesn't happen because in the doctor's records, they all died. And you can kiss that robot goodbye. It's too heavy. It's a nine-month flight. It'll take us at least three hours to load up everything we need. You've got 20 minutes. <laughs> Give me a report on Andy and Tarek. 
still in the biodome tunnel. What about Maggie? She stays behind. We've got no way to contain her on board. I changed straight away, but when Maggie was infected, it stayed hidden inside her. Which means any one of us could already be infected. If you take that back to Earth, one drop. If we can find out how this thing got through. Yuri, continue with action one. They cannot go home. <laughs> He's so reluctant. He doesn't want to be involved in this. He knows it's terrible. I'm sorry. They'll find a way out. Ah, oh, yeah. See? Even if she gets past the medical, Easy. Never get I've lost her. Wow. <laughs> and that's her call? This is so freaky. I don't like it at all. Tell legends of Mars from long ago. Fine and noble race who built an empire out of snow. Perhaps they found something down there. It was their might and their wisdom to freeze it. You don't look like a coward. But all you've wanted to do is leave. This precise moment in time, it's like, I mean, it's only a theory, what do I know? But certain moments in time are fixed. Everything else is in flux, anything can happen, but those certain moments, they have to stand. What happens here must always happen. It's like with the Pompeii episode. I think something wonderful happened. Something that started 50 years ago. I've never told anyone that. You told your daughter. One day she tells a story to her daughter. The day the Earth was stolen and moved across the universe. I saw the Daleks. I went to the window. And there, in the sky, I saw it, Doctor. And it saw me. And then... Left. Left her alive. Because it knew? It knew? It simply went away. I knew I would follow it. But not for revenge. What would be the point of that? That's what makes you remarkable. And that's how you create history. It begins with you. And then your granddaughter, you inspire her. So that in 30 years, Susie Fontana Brook is the pilot of the first light speed ship to Proxima Centauri. <gasps> that really happens. One day, a Brook will even fall in love with a Tandonian prince, and that's the start of a whole new species. <laughs> Everything starts with you, Adelaide. Why are you telling me this? Why tell me? That's consolation. Because he knows that she's not going to make it. Number three water filters bust. The spares they sent don't fit. What a surprise. A filter! One tiny little filter and then the flood. The rest of us can't be infected. We can leave. No, he won't let her. If you want food, you're going to have to carry it by hand. You were right, Doctor. What about? <laughs> now get to your ship. I'm saving my people, you save yourself. I know what this moment is. It's the moment we escape. Now get out. But he doesn't look so convinced, does he? Everyone, so stay He must know. He just knows that there's no hope for these people. Well, the cameras are down, but there's pressure on top of the module. They're on the roof. Can they seep that water down through the concrete? We're safe. They can't get through, can they? This place is airtight. Can it get through? That's ten feet of steel combination up there. The doctor can save them all. He could, but he cannot. He knows exactly what's happened here. some beautiful things he experiences so much and yet in moments like this it is just so much pain and it's so hard access denied tell me what happened i don't know yes you do tell me imagine you found yourself somewhere i don't know pompeii and you tried to save them but in doing so you make it happen anything i do just makes it happen taking action one and action five is detonation the nuclear device at the heart of the central dome today on the 21st of november 2059 captain brook activates that device no one ever knows why but you were saving her that's what inspires your granddaughter she takes your people out into the galaxy because you die on mars you die today she flies out there like she's trying to meet you I won't die. But your death creates the future. Why can't you change it? I can't. I swear, Tell me. I can't. I I'm sorry, but I can't. Sometimes I can. Sometimes I do. Most times I can save someone, but not you. 
You wanted all your life while that Dalek spared you. I think it knew your death is fixed. What's going to save you? Captain Adelaide Brooke. Damn you. Water! We've got water! Yep, there's nothing he can do and he's exactly right. It'll have to be Protocol 5. There's no hope for them. Oh no. No, it's too late for her. Steffi! No, she's gone. Don't you worry, Captain, we are gonna fly. I need air in section air right now. <gasps> you better go. Don't just stand there, move. I'm sorry, Captain. One drop. Shuttle is down. What the hell do you mean? It was Maggie. Get out of there! Too late. They want the ship to get to Earth. <gasps> Auto destruct. He will knock four times, and I think I know what that means, and it doesn't mean right here, right now. Because I don't hear anyone knocking, do you? <gasps> Three knocks is all you're getting. <laughs> Person in there. Oh, no, 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 no. Section F. What's in Section F? The atom clubs. Atom clubs. Atom clubs. Who needs atom clubs? I love a funny robot. You take that, good boy. What? Implementing but... Captain's protocol. Late. If I have to fight you as well, then I will. Nuclear device now active and primed. Why would she do that? Oh, he goes quick. <laughs> Why don't you just snap your fingers? 43 seconds. How can this work? Who's in there? It worked? Isn't anyone gonna thank me? <laughs> He's lost his signal. Doesn't know where he is. That's my house. What? Don't you get it? This is the 21st of November, 2059. Same day on Earth. And it's snowing. I love snow. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Appropriate Look response. Huh, I'm so surprised. Your daughter and your daughter's daughter. You can see them again. Well, they still have their same future, though. Susie, 
My granddaughter, the person she's supposed to become, might never exist now. Yeah. Nah. Captain, I'd like to inspire her face to face. The whole of history could change. The future of the human race. Mm -hmm. No one should have that much power. Tough. <laughs> you should have left us there. I'd like to have done this sort of thing before. In small ways, say some little people. But never someone as important as you. Oh, I'm good. Little people? Who decides they're so unimportant? You? For a long time now, I thought I was just a survivor, but I'm not. I'm the winner. The Time Lord Victorious. Okay. And there's no one to stop you. No. The Time Lord Victorious is wrong. That's for me to decide. Oh. Is there nothing you can't do? Not anymore. Victorious is wrong. I've gone too far. Oh! What? How did. Is this it? My death? Is it time? Amazingly done episode and it's left me with so many things to think about and ponder the very final moment there where we saw of the doctor screaming no and going back into the TARDIS before taking off just has me thinking what is he going to do like what is he in such an urgent rush to do and the first thing that came to my mind was that can he actually go back in time to not save them like he did but I don't think that works because of what we saw way back in Father's Day you can go back in time again but then you'll just see yourself there and it's just not going to work so I think that is out of the picture but I just have no clue where he is running off to in such a hurry but the whole Time Lord victorious thing look i really love moments like that when the doctor gets dark and gritty and scary downright scary and i just look at his face and just feel so afraid there are many moments um for me that he's behaved that way thinking back to Donna, I think in Runaway Bride, I think it was called, when we first met Donna in the wedding dress and had that big Ragnos spider and uh, that moment there is so uh, frightening. That's just the doctor at his worst. And when he's like that, I do find it so interesting and compelling and the end there just had me so excited to see him like that just so fierce ferocious full of fire and flame and I love it it was so interesting for me to see um, even though he said so many times that he cannot change the future he still lingered he didn't want them to die and yet he knew that he had to, he had to let them die there on Mars. He had to let that play out, but he just couldn't. He fought against that. And part of it makes me wonder, is he actually trying to like defy the future as it's written? Because we know that, um, this thing is coming that's knocking four times right and he's obviously very concerned and worried about that and side note the three knocks by one of the mars creatures was perfectly timed and so well done so part of me wonders if he is 
wanting to save these astronauts and save them and change history to go, ha ha, look, I can do it. I can stop people from dying. I can change the course of history. This person with the four knocks is not going to get me. It's just going to be nothing at all. But then um, she went inside when she came home and she shot herself. So then nothing changed at all except that she died on Earth and not Mars. So nothing changed. The course of history or the future really is still the same. So even though he saved all those people, the, the crucial part of it still happened. She still died. I am so glad that they brought up Pompeii because I mentioned that in this episode and I said this is just like that situation where he didn't want to save anyone there in Pompeii. He just wanted to play it out, let it go, and he couldn't change anything. And now again, he couldn't change anything. It's just fascinating. This one was so interestingly done and terrifying too. This is maybe one of the scariest episodes that I've seen because the 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 people that the parasite took over was so freaky. I hated it. <laughs> I'm glad I got the courage to look by the end though, but seeing the terrible mouths, oh, it was just horrific. But um, the ood there at the end, I forget if he had a particular name, but seeing the ood there at the end reminds me of back to the Planet of the Ood episode and when he said that the Doctor's song was coming to an end. So we've had so many predictions of that now and it definitely is starting to be a concern. Thank you so much for being here for this episode and I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day guys. Bye!